this, and there is no element of structure underneath the wing, which is the important aero side of the wing. And what's even more impressive about this wing is that with the hydraulic, the mechanism weight is only six and a half kilos, which is truly lightweight for such a mechanism. As all Koenigsegg cars, apart from the one-to-one -one series, the roof can be stored in the front of the car. So all of these cars are actually convertibles. And guys, can you help me take the roof off? We can have a look inside the interior as well. It comes with a memory seat, six-way functioning memory seat, which only weighs 16 and a half kilos, which are the lightest memory electric seats we have ever seen. And that's important to get the luxury and comfort, but keep the weight down. But the most interesting part of this car is probably its drivetrain. Some of you might have heard I'm not a fan of traditional hybrid cars. They usually come in two flavors. One is the series hybrid where you have a combustion engine running a generator, charging a battery, delivering power to electrical motors, driving the car forward. There you have a lot of conversion going on from a mechanical movement to electrical to charging to discharging to mechanical movement and a lot of losses. The good thing about that solution is that you don't have so many components and you don't have a heavy transmission. So it's fairly lightweight and compact, however not efficient when you keep on driving long distances. The other solution is the parallel hybrid where you have basically two cars in one. You have a full EV with all that functionality and you have a full ICE car with transmission and everything. That's pretty good from an efficiency point of view, when you're carrying around a lot of stuff, taking up a lot of space, costing a lot of money, and adding weight. So I thought there must be a better solution than those two. And after actually a few years of thinking how that could be done better, and how we, you can remove components and still have all functionality, I came up with this idea that we filed for patenting last summer. And it's basically removing the transmission out of the, the traditional gearbox transmission out of the equation. So this car has direct drive from the combustion engine to the wheels with only a final drive unit in between. No gearbox, no gears. So when driving on the highway in that mode, not using the electrical motors, it's the world's first car that has a combustion engine driving the wheels with no gearbox in between. We have an engine of 20 liters with super response with no need for gears. And some people might think, I'm going to miss shifting and revving up on all of these nice things you have in a sports car. And that is true. But I guess many of you have also driven a Tesla P85D, where you have this enormous quick response from an electric motor and makes a two-ton car really fly and become nimble and small in its reactions. So imagine that kind of electrical power that we also have here, with 600 kilos less weight, with 1,100 horsepower of combustion engine power on top of that, and then you can kind of sort of imagine what this will feel like. So to give you some numbers here, we can go from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. That's pretty impressive. That would be much better if we had more than two-wheel drive. But this is a two-wheel drive car, and that's how it is. So 150 to 250 kilometers per hour, that's 3.2 seconds, which is much more impressive. It's almost the same acceleration as from 0 to 100. Then going from 0 to 300, that's uh, sorry, 12.3 seconds and under 20 seconds to 400. And this car will almost do 410 kilometers per hour before the engine hits its RPM limit and at the same time the electric motors are getting close to their maximum RPM. So that's all balanced out. Uh, I will show you, this is actually also a plug-in car. So if you look at the rear of the car now, I will fold down a little number plate lid here and there you can actually put the charge cable, the Manicus Type 2 charger. So uh, you don't have to uh, plug it in and charge it, you can charge it up quickly with the help of the combustion engine. And I think we reintroduced the first fishtail exhaust system on any sports car for the last 50 or 60 years. The great thing about having a titanium fishtail shaped exhaust is that it, it vibrates and resonates so the RPM almost sounds like it's double. This is very good in a car where you can only reach your top RPM at 410 kilometers per hour. So you have to live on the guttural roar and the resonance from the exosystem to be thrilled by the engine, which I promise you it will.